Hey, what's up? It's Roy here. So today let's talk about the OtterBox Defender case here that I have for my Google Pixel 7. You're going to be spending around 60 bucks or so on this case. So obviously it's a high-end case from OtterBox, so you know what you're getting. So let's take a real quick peek at the packaging. So the packaging is very reminiscent of all OtterBox cases when it comes to how they come in their box. So you have the OtterBox branding here, Defender Series there drop plus to four times the military standard, which means you got insane drop protection with this case. It's multi-layered defense and is made with more than 50% of recycled plastics. So let's get this bad boy out. So the way to take it out is just like so. Slide it out here, comes with some paperwork. And then with it coming pre-installed with the kickstand and like the holster here, you kind of have to do a little bit more work, lift up the kickstand part and slide it out. And then there she goes. So this is how it comes pre-installed already on the kickstand. We'll go ahead and take that off and just kind of move that to the side real quick. And let's focus on the case. So the case is a two part case as it hinted with the multi-layer on the front of the box. So you have this really nice cushioning material inside. You have this really nice rubbery TPU material on the outside. The way to take it off is by flipping up this part here for the um, cover for the USB-C charging port and then literally just kind of separate it. So it's very easy to do. And once you've done it a couple times, it's second nature. But then you have the harder polycarbonate shell and then the TPU material here. And the way to separate this piece, because it is two pieces as well, is with these little parts here. So you're literally just going to pop them apart. That's it. With your fingers, super easy to do. Nothing crazy. It's just very easy and simple to separate. And then once you do so, now you have it separated. And then the way to install the phone is pretty simple as well. So what you're gonna do is place the phone in this part here, and then the outer shell, you're just gonna put over it and then just click back into those slots that we separated from originally. And there we have it. And then that is what we have here. And then the next part is to put the outer shell back on. And it's not rocket science here, guys. You literally just connect it. And then as you can see here, there's like some parts bowing out. You just push them up against this inner shell and that's it. It's super, super simple. And you'll know that you've done it right when it is a nice flush kind of connection between the inner shell and the outer shell. So looking at the case installed, you can see that we have a very nice rugged OtterBox case now on the Pixel 7. So the only thing exposed is the camera bar with your lenses. It's this really grippy material. Uh, it does tend to catch like little fuzz and lint and stuff. So depending on if you're taking it in and out of like your jean pocket or something like that, uh, it might tend to grab some lint and stuff like that. Uh, so a quick little dust off with your shirt or your hand will do the trick just fine. There is some OtterBox branding here at the bottom. Other than that, it's pretty simple. It's just the TPU material. You do kind of have more of a higher gloss black border that is surrounding the actual lenses. So you can see with that camera bar, it does nicely cover up those lenses. So you can see with the actual camera protection here, it does seem pretty flat. So I am very interested to see how it does with the wobble test. Looking at the sides here, you can see as well that we do have this really nice grippy material here. And you can kind of see where the parts where you connect it together and then just that grippy material all around once again with this TPU material. The buttons are raised, so you have your raised power button and volume up and down buttons there as you can see. Moving to the bottom, you do have nice generous cutouts for the speakers, and then obviously we have a port flap for the USB-C charging port there. And then moving to this side here, we can see once again that grippy material here on the side. There is no buttons on this side. And then looking at the top, we do have a hole punch cut out there, it's more, more squared, I guess, uh, for the uh, microphone. And then you can kind of just see how it looks looking from the top down. And then looking at it from the front, you can see against my fingers and the table that we do have some great lippage going around the screen. So good forehead and chin protection and very nice protection on the sides. And then looking at it from the front, you can kind of see the border 
of the case. So it is a little bit thicker than normal cases, but it is an OtterBox case and it does give you four times the military drop protection. So it is to be expected. And then looking at it from this closer angle, you can see that longer cutout and how it looks for the speakers up top. So next let's go ahead and do the wobble test. Let's see how this thing does. So face down, no shakes at all. And then back down, no shaking at all either. So very nicely done. So if you like a not so wobbly case, this one does the trick. So now let's go ahead and do the clicky button test. Let's see how responsive these buttons are. So let's do the power button first. Volume up and down. Okay, so guys, this easily passes my clicky button test. Some of the clickiest and loudest buttons I've tested for my Google Pixel 7 or just really any of my phones. And then last but not least, let's go ahead and see the Qi wireless charging capabilities. I'm gonna grab my Qi wireless charger here. Let's slap it on. And as you can see, you got the animation. It is Qi wirelessly charging this device. So even though it is a multi-layer case, a thicker case, it's going to do just fine with wirelessly charging. And then last but not least, let's go ahead and play with the holster slash kickstand. So as you can see, it's pretty generic. Looks like all the other kickstands and holsters that you've seen with other OtterBox cases. It does double as a kickstand, which as you can see locks in place. And then to release it, you just push that and boom, there it goes. And then basically you just put it in. You can do face down if you want to. So that way, if you're wearing it on your hip or something, then the, then the screen isn't exposed to the outside. Or you can go screen out, click it into place, and then now you have it out to the elements if you did want to. But that's kind of where the kickstand comes into place because if you wanted to watch a video or something at your desk, then you could totally do it this way. You can twist this as well as you can see. So if you wanted to twist it to have the phone sitting more upright, then you can do that. Uh, and then I've also seen people do it where, excuse me, where they flip it all around like this. So it's like that. And then they have the phone in portrait mode and it's leaned back a little bit. Now, personally, I probably don't see the point of doing it this way. I think uh, probably doing it this way is the best and most effective way. So it's clicked out like that. So it has a more upright position. Or like I said, you can, you know, just kind of leave it like that and then have it leaned back a little bit more. So those would be my two kind of go-to ways of doing that. And then you just pop it out and then that's all she wrote. So there we have it guys, there is the Defender case. So if you are looking for a rugged, rugged case for your Pixel 7, obviously the OtterBox is a very reputable brand, well known for their drop protection and just high quality materials in the case. So I highly would recommend it if you're looking to splurge and get a really, really good case for your Pixel 7. So hit that like button if you liked the video, if you loved it, please subscribe, ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe, God bless, and we'll see you on the next one.